for the electrical activity in a person's brain. And then we link that up with different events, so like if they heard a sound or saw a picture. So what you're hearing right now is actually what uh, Amanda's hearing in the other room. And you're hearing two words presented auditorily. And some of the word pairs rhyme and are also spelled alike, such as cat and hat. Some of the word pairs sound alike but are spelled differently from one another, juice and moose. So the oos sound is spelled differently in each of those. It'll help us understand what um, processes help children learn how to read, so when we understand that better, then other people will be able to create new um, interventions to teach children how to read or to help children with reading disabilities. We have a population where about half um, don't have the literacy skills necessary to understand complex material. It is a knowledge economy and there really is no career or job that does not require a certain level of reading and speaking skills and communication skills. It was great to put what I learned in the classroom to use, like hands-on, actually working in the lab. My undergraduate students are really fundamental to my research. Um, I really enjoy working with them and getting them sort of excited about you know, what I'm excited in. They're critical to it. They develop the ethics applications, they develop stimuli, they will collect data. They're involved in every element of it. When this research is published and presented, they, they will, their name will be front and center. I really enjoy um, teaching, sort of the, the professing aspect of my job to be able to then offer my students in my classes the ability to come up to my lab and actually use equipment and, and software that allows them to visualize the human brain uh, in action um, I think is really critical to their education. I know most of my professors on like first name basis um, and especially working in a research lab you really get to know your professors that way as well. Um, I'm hoping to go to graduate school and become a clinical psychologist.